Now we know that the daily tributes to daily logins in Warframe are changing and that dev workshop post that they mentioned on the dev stream for those daily login rewards has been posted with the confirmed changes arriving with that mainline update for PC sometime over the next month or so. So with these login changes they are giving players more choices at certain milestones keeping some items locked at the higher login rewards and also giving scaling rewards of certain resources on your normal login days while also having a warframe npc give you some custom lines to welcome you on your milestone day so there better be a fucking clem in there no wait not a clem fucking just just a clem <laughs> imagine so overall it sounds like a better login system even if it still has weapons time gated behind logging in for several years years but at least now you actually get to choose which of those weapons you want on certain milestones instead of the way it is right now which is basically this is the weapon you're getting on day 100 300 500 and so on now these login changes are coming like i said with that mainline update which we were told on the last dev stream will also have a weapon or two attached to it as well as a lot of changes that are preparing us for the arrival of that fortuna update and the wave tsunami of actual content content that hopefully comes with it k drives kit guns poop hunting corpus bases arachnophobia and probably a much larger amount of grinding than eidolon ever gave us so first up is those cosmetic login rewards the lodestar cyandana from day 800 and the lodestar armor which you're getting at day 1000 is kind of staying at that to better reward veterans for their dedication to the login system so you won't be able to get either of those two items earlier than you can right now they're staying at those times now for milestones on every 50 days you will now be given a choice of three rewards so day 50 100 150 200 and so on you can choose between three different items but these items will be in chronological order or the original chronological order so that's the kind of important phrase there so if we take the old login system and the weapons that you get with it as an example day 100 is the azima right now day 300 is the zenith star and day 500 is the zenith when you bring that into the new system and the chronological order you will get a choice of those three weapons on day 100 so you won't be able to pick the sigma and octantis on day 100 instead it will be the azima the zenith star and then the zenith so most people will probably pick the zenith star right then on day 300 for logging in you will have a selection of two of those weapons that you didn't choose first time around at day 100 so the azima and the zenith and then the sigma and octantis will be rotated in from the old day 700 reward and be added into that equation so you will then have a choice of those three weapons the azima the zenith and the sigma and octantis now i'm not sure what will happen at day 500 because you will only have two weapons left to choose from maybe they will put a large amount of resources in or maybe they won't do anything maybe you will just have to pick between those two weapons and then on day 700 you will just have one weapon left the big thing to take from this is that it is still going to take the exact same amount of time for you to get all of the weapons and of course all of those primed mods 700 days for the weapons which is nearly two years of logging in which like i said earlier should never have been a thing time gating really good weapons behind actually logging in but it has and it still is and changing that now would probably cause too much drama with certain veterans now once you cross that day 1000 your login rewards become evergreen rewards so no more weapons no more mods and no more cosmetics instead it becomes a choice between large chunks of resources former excellent slots boosters 50k kuva and either pistol primary or melee ribbons now i don't see any option in this dev workshop post for shotgun ribbons maybe they could remove the option of weapon slots from choices because be realistic here who after day 1000 is going to need bloody weapon slots so you could put a shotgun ribbon in there instead of that and maybe they will now another big change happening with the new login system is that on your normal login days so the non milestone ones rewards will now scale based on the amount of days that you have logged in so the resources the former blueprints the relics the syndicate medallions and so on will give you much larger amounts the longer that you have logged in for now the example that they give in the dev workshop post is honestly a really really bad one on day one you could get one telerium whereas on day 1000 
you get six. Six whole feckin' Telerium. Maybe that will translate to six former blueprints as well though, which might not be as bad, but I kind of feel like if you're logging in for over a thousand days, then it might be nice to get more than just six bloody Telerium. Again, maybe this could all change before it actually gets implemented into the game. Now, the big question that a lot of you are asking with these login changes are, what will happen if I have just crossed a milestone? How will these changes affect me? If I just hit day 101, when this update drops, will I get another choice of these weapons? And I would honestly think that the answer to that is no, you won't. I would assume, which is probably gonna make an ass out of me, is that you would probably have to wait for the next milestone to get your next choice. So if you did just hit day 101, you will probably have to wait until day 300 to get your next weapon choice. Now, if it was me, if I was still all the way back, at one of those earlier milestone login rewards and I was that close to a pivotal login reward like say day 100 where you could possibly get your hands on the Zenistar at day 100 or even if you're close to day 300 then I'll be honest I would just simply get to one day before that login and I just wouldn't log in again until this update hits but that's just me maybe go play something else I mean right now that's what most of us are doing anyway log in get your reward log back out because there's not a lot for veterans to do right now in the game if you're new to Warframe then of course you still have a lot of content but if you've been playing it for years like some of us then there's not a lot for you to do and hopefully hopefully and I mean this a lot they don't put all of their eggs in one basket next year in terms of updates like they have this year but at the same time larger updates are getting the game noticed more and pulling more players in than what the smaller updates were so I guess for them from a business standpoint they will have seen their community growing because of the Eidolon update because of the announcement with Fortuna so chances are that they will stick to that next year but maybe they might be able to find a nice balance in between and give us more kind of intermittent updates in between those large ones as well to keep the veterans around longer than what's happening right now because every veteran that I know is literally just logging in maybe walking around our ship getting some stuff and then logging straight back out we're not doing a whole lot most of us are playing different games now let me know what you think of these confirmed login changes coming to Warframe soon hopefully within the next month do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video don't if you didn't subscribe for more Warframe and as always Thanks very much for watching.